What's good, YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell got some revenge after years of trash talking from Dylan Brooks. They got into a little altercation. Let's check out this video. Here's the video. Hold on! Is down. The head coaches are in the middle of it. Just remind any spectator going onto the floor here up there will be attempting a second floor address. Well, that was going to take some time to sort out. But you can see it was Mitchell and Brooks with the shove by Donovan. You can see the ensuing. Melee. And I believe that that gentleman in the gray who grabbed Brooks and took him to the ground was uh, Grizzlies personnel. There was the, the ball thrown mm -hmm. and then the shove by Mitchell. This has kind of been brewing on all game. They were they had words earlier in the first quarter. And this is history because remember Mitchell was in the uh, was in the West with Utah. So they've seen each other a lot. Mitchell threw the ball and then came up and shoved him and then threw him down. But clearly to me, Mitchell was the aggressor just by looking at it initially. Yeah, I'm the there by the there's a block shot by Mobley. We're looking at the rest of the play See, to me, that was an inadvertent. I, I do not think Brooks was trying to hit Donovan Mitchell below the belt, but he did. And that's kind of what started it right there with the ball being tossed back at Brooks and then the shove. Okay, and I want you guys to watch it from this other angle. As you can see, it was intentional, in my opinion, because I got this other clip right here. Let's watch it slow down. As you can see, when Dylan Brooks was sliding, he turned around and looked up, saw Donovan Mitchell was right there, hit him in his nuts. Don't go just yet. We got Donovan Mitchell's response in a post-game interview. This is what he had to say. He had a lot to say about Dylan Brooks, and he didn't hold back. Let's check this out right here. I think my reaction, honestly, just for me, um, reacting to a cheap shot, you know what I mean? And I think it's like I said, this has been a habit for years. And this isn't new to anybody in this room. Um, and, you know, if punishment doesn't come from that, you know, it's just going to keep doing that, you know. And I, I really don't. It's just dumb, <laughs> to be honest. It's just dumb. And, like I said, um, it's just dumb. And, you know, I'm going to appeal it because I don't think I should have got ejected for defending myself, um, to be honest. Um, do you think that Dylan should face further punishment from the league for this? And if so, what should happen? I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say, like, oh, it should be this, it should be that, but it should be something. You know I mean? Like I said, this isn't just a Donovan thing. You know, this has happened to other players throughout this league. Um, and it's bullshit, if we're being honest with you. Um, this is complete bullshit. There's one thing, you know, you got Ja, you got Bane, you got Jaron Jack, those guys, like, they talk shit, and that's fine. Like, that's all part of basketball. We all grew up playing that way. But when you start doing little cheap shit, like, that ain't it. And that, that's, that's honestly where my frustration lies. You know, it's not about the talking back and forth. That's whatever, the extra bumps, whatever. That's cool. But when you start doing little stuff like that, like, what are we really doing? Um, him and I have had our personal battles for years. Um, quite frankly, I've been busting his ass for years. Um, playoffs, regular season. Um, you know, in the one game, he does a high job on me today. You know, he decides to do something like that. And, you know, that's, there's no place in that in the game. And, you know, you got to protect yourself at the end of the day. But um, this has been brewing for years um, with me, with, with me, with other guys in the league. And we, you all see it. You know, it's not something that this, is, this isn't new. Um, and, you know, tonight was just the end of it. But... It's tough when you can't guard somebody, you can't do something with somebody. You got to resort to that, and that's what he's done to a lot of players. You know, I, I, off the top of my head, I think it's like Damon and, and Steph. He, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. That's what you resort to, and that's cool. But um, I'm glad my guys held it down tonight, and you know, had my back. You know, throughout the whole thing. Chris, Chris Fedor, Cleveland Icon. Hey, Dominic. You said you've had matchups with mm -hmm. him before. Have you ever had? An yeah, we've been or talking or nonstop. I wouldn't say this to this extent, but there's always been talks. You can go back. I think it was like two years ago, regular season, um, like 30 points a game, like um, it's nonstop talking back and forth and you know that was cool when we were just talking but that right there is that's where you know the line has to be line has to be drawn and the NBA has to do something about it because like I said I'm not the only person this is happening to um, there's no place for that in this game and you know like I said I, I took matters into my own hands but at the end of the day like you know that ain't it did you sense it building up throughout the course of the game uh, I wouldn't say to that I wouldn't I didn't think it was gonna be like that you know maybe the drawing back and forth which is part of the game and that's cool or whatever you know but like I said when you have a cheap shot like that because there was no need to do that you know what I mean so um I wasn't expecting that, and then that's just how I reacted. But like I said, if you just can't guard somebody, just say that and just get a switch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. Um, but it is what it is. 
as y'all can see, man, um, like I posted in my video about Kendrick Perkins buying into Dylan Brooks, disrespecting Shannon Sharp, I said the Memphis Grizzlies has a reputation of being one of the most disrespectful teams in the league. A lot of these players are tired of these guys because they haven't won a damn thing but the amount of trash talk that these players are doing on that Grizzly squad. So with that being said, man, smash that thumbs up button for me if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys for doing that. That really helps my YouTube channel continue to grow. And while I have your attention already, you can go check out these other videos on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my page or if you've been around to my channel. Salute. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.